Uh, this is another one from Reddit. Uh, believe it or not, this has even more upvotes, and that showcases how powerful a nice piece of artwork can be. This was, I guess, an ad explaining aerodynamics. I think it was an ad for a car manufacturer by the name of Tatra, which I think uh, they're from the Czech Republic. And this was all the way back in 1930 hmm. to describe aerodynamics and the change at the time in automotive design around shapes. And so if you scroll down here, you'll see that the wind is represented as like an evil villain. And you can see this villain is grabbing onto the portions that you would grab onto as a human if you were attempting mm. to hold like a toy car or an RC car. If you were the size of that grip. villain, you would. Yeah. The only places you can grip are the places that are destroying your aerodynamics. Those are the places that wind is getting hung up. And then the villain is defeated by the aerodynamic vehicle. Mm. And what's cool is, but like he's deflated, he can't grab anything because it's so slick. But what's interesting as well about this, first of all, the artwork does such a good job of explaining it to anyone. Like if you want to explain mm -hmm. it to a kid, it's fully explained right there. But then the other thing that stood out to me is how much the bottom vehicle all the way back in 1930 looks so much like what's happening to all vehicles, all right, vehicles right now. now. Yeah. EVs, yep. they're all some kind of variant. So it hasn't really changed that much, these ideas. Obviously, the power uh, powertrain, the the propulsion method has changed substantially with the EVs. But I guess this the, uh, the flow of it, like the actual body, not the framework, but the body of it. That's right. Very flowy. But it's but it's kind of it's very fun. similar they, to what we have. But they yeah. knew it in 1930, yeah. and then car designs, automotive designs, cheap gas, mm -hmm. and 1950s and whatever they went crazy with design, like right. like the other car that we have sitting over yeah. there. They just yeah. do whatever because it. And now we go back to just the most efficient shapes possible. Remember when we had the EQS in here? Mm -hmm. The shape of it, I mean, it kind of looked like the bottom right. vehicle yeah. over there. And Even Tesla Plaid is so simple, just aerodynamic. That's it. That's it. That's mm. what it aims to do, and everything else is extra. And a friend of mine drives a Jeep, and he was telling me he was in a stove. Like a Wrangler or something? Yeah. He, it's actually the Jeep truck, but it's okay. essentially a Wrangler right. with a bed. He was in a snowstorm the other day. He said he could not keep the snow from building up on the windshield. Oh, right. Because it's just piling. If you're right. in a terrible snow or slush situation, just like aerodynamics, it has no way to really move over. Yeah. And if mm -hmm. it gets below the portion where the wipers are, it can just build up. Uh, or the things are just flying like crazy. You're just slamming into everything. Mm -hmm. So as much as I like those old school designs... Uh, it's obvious that there's some cool looking, but not efficient superior effects that go on here when you work, work, when you defeat the, um, elements instead of try to fight them. Right. Yeah. Like the wind villain from the sure. graphic.